I was born in Spartanburg, South Carolina, but I lived and grew up in Chesney, South Carolina. My mom had me in church my whole life, and so I grew up in church. So when I was eight, we had revival at church, and I realized at that time that even though I knew God lived in my heart and that I was saved, I had never made that decision publicly. And so I went down and professed my faith publicly and asked Jesus to be in my heart, like, officially. And there's never been a time in my life where I walked away from Christ. Now that's definitely not to say that I've made the best decisions my whole life. After I graduated high school, I met a guy and fell in love and was infatuated. But he had issues. He was on drugs and I thought I could change him, you know, naively. And my parents told me I shouldn't be with him, so 18-year-old me who knew everything decided the better idea would be to marry him. And so that's what I did. After my son was born, some things happened that make me realize that he wasn't going to change. Not only was he on drugs, but he was abusive. He had pushed me through a wall once, and once I had Ethan, I was like, this is not how I'm gonna raise a child. And so I knew at that time that I had to step away. So when he was two weeks old, I went home to my mama <laughs> and she took me in and took care of us. That's when I went back to school to be a dental hygienist and like started making the steps to be able to really do it on my own. And I honestly felt I would probably be on my own for a very long time, you know, like forever. Because so I thought, who's gonna want to marry me when I have a young child? Wasn't really looking. A friend of mine sent me this thing for a online dating service. She helped me sign up for it. And we sat there and we were doing stuff and within a little bit, someone had messaged me. And that always went really well. We talked really well on the phone and just had a really good conversations and stuff. Then he asked me out. So he drove down to me on a weeknight and my date didn't really talk very much to me. And so I assumed he didn't like me very much. And then, of course, it was an hour drive for him to get back home. And he called and asked me back out again before he even made it back home. So I guess he did like me, and I did like him. Shane and I dated for a little while before I decided to let Ethan meet him. But then when he did, he just fell right into place of just a really good role model and the longer we dated and started talking. We knew we wanted to get married, and he was like, I love you, will you marry me and spend the rest of your life with me? And then, of course, I said yes. Then eventually we had the girl child to complete our little set. We did try to get into church, and we tried out one church, but some things happened, and I realized this really just wasn't the home church for us. And so we were out of church for quite a while, unfortunately. When my daughter was in school, she got really involved with Young Life and met Megan. And she came to Reach Life and came home and she was like, Mom, you've got to come. Dad, you've got to come. Y'all really like that church. And so we went and just immediately just felt welcomed. The more we got to know everybody, we were like, hey, why don't we try to help do this or help try to do that and just got more and more involved and during the years that we weren't in church we were probably not very close with God like we should have been but once we've been back in church at Reach Life I've seen my husband grow I've felt myself grow and as our children now are my son's 24 and he's married now and has our first little sweet grandbaby who's super yummy and our daughter's away at college and, you know, we're empty nesting, the village is even kind of more important. Like it would have been nice to have our village while our kids were younger for that support and stuff too. But now having that village and things to do with people and to help encourage others, young parents and the time of life that we've been through, all of that's just always so encouraging. I think the support of your church family is very important.
looking back over my life, I just think about how much God has done for me. And He was faithful and took care of me and gave me the strength to get through the hard times. And I'm so thankful for my, my marriage and my children. And I'm just thankful that He's just always been there and never let me down.